Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagal Prajapati and in this video I will be talking about how we can up use a update statement in Delta table in Databricks. So before that, I would like to introduce myself. I am Sagar Pajpati. I create videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, SQL, Python, and so on. So if you are someone who doesn't know these things, so please go and watch out my those videos and then come to this video. And if you are someone who doesn't know even the basics of uh, this uh, Delta or the database of PySpark, then here is the playlist I have created for you guys and here I upload videos from the sketch it means from the basic till the advanced level okay you can see right now it is 48 videos and uh, you know like I included all the things how we can read the files how we can write the files what is partitions what is delta table and so on okay so let's get started for today's video the topic is update in delta table so let me write here delta also Okay. Now here if you can see we have one this we have this CSV file where the data is present. Now you can see we have this ID name and code and this is the data. First of first the first uh, up, the first uh, process is the uh, first step is to load this data into a data frame. So for that I have written this small statement. Okay. Now since I have already read this, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna uh, write I mean save it into the table so for that I will write df dot write mode is override by default is also override and format is equal to format is delta and save as table then what I can do I can pass here some name let's say dummy data underscore output Cool. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna simply do select star from this table. Cool. Okay. You might be thinking that this is the data present. Now the task is or the ask is that we need to like we have one more table where this ID and name is given and based on you know like then in this in this is the this is the main table and then I need to update the names the names you know uh, where the ID matches okay so okay let me first make that table so that you will understand so for that what I will do I will create one variable not variable a list okay I will write down here this is a string format right a string okay cool one a b c one cool a b c one cool okay cool chalega and id two a b c d e f right d e f one and here i will make a schema so for that what i will do I will write here ID which is in string format comma name right which is in string format and here I will create one data frame using spark dot create data frame data comma schema cool and let me run this now if I do display of this df1 you can see we have this data 1 2 and abc1 and def1 now the ask is that I need to update update this table where the id is 1 I mean what are the ids are present here right so I need to update the names of this with the with this table now you what you can do the ideal approach would be to use a inner join with this set with the uh, update statement but since this is a data breaks 
here you cannot use update with inner join or any join conditions okay so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use a merge statement so i will write here merge so for that i'm gonna use sql so merge into table name so my table name is dummy data output right let me give some alias let's say t1 using using which table so here also i have to create a table so okay let not we will not create a table instead what we can do we can we can create a view so i will use here create or replace temp view and let's say dummy data one and replace spelling is wrong view spelling is wrong cool now let me run this cool copy this name and paste it over here using this table as t2 on now here i have to write a condition t1 dot id id small capital t2 dot id when matched then if it is matched right if id is matched then what i have to do i have to update in table 1 right so id t1 uh, dot id is equal to t1 dot id is equal to what t2 id ko to karna hi nahi hai right so here i can write here name t1 uh, dot name is equal to t2 dot name that's it right now let me run this there is an error saying when matched then t1 dot name t1 so this is might be the syntax issue one minute so here i have to write when matched then update uh, update set this now let me run this ding 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 it's running and here let me do a select star jaldi jaldi select star from this table cool you can see only four servers have been updated affected or we can say num affected rows is four there is only updated rows four and uh, and then inserted rows are zero you can see this you can see one name i mean the name abc got updated with uh, with uh, with the with the suffix one and likewise id2 is also the, the name of id2 have been updated now i will change uh, i will change this data a bit here let's suppose we have uh, we have again we have also the code present okay so let me write down only the code fc to not 200 and here also let me write for 200 and here code string cool Dung. here i will i will read this data and again i will overwrite it and then i will run this prob this view now since what i want to do is that i want to only update the you know update the rows based on ids and the code also okay since we have multiple codes over here present over here for one id so for one id we have two codes right we have two codes fc200 and fc201 so here what i will do i will use another one that is t1 dot 
not sorry not here and t1 dot what code is equal to t2 dot code so basically what i am saying ki bhaiya uh, where this rows are matching then update this name okay kind of inner join only now you can see only two rows have been updated or affected so if i run this select star from table then you can see for the id 1 and 2 i mean for the id 1 where the code is 200 the name got updated likewise for the id 2 where where the code is uh, 200 this name got updated so i hope you have understood this concept and we will meet you in the next session and tab tak ke liye bye bye thank you for this video and thank you for the support and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and share with your friends write down some feedback over the linkedin or over the comments so that you know i will i will i will work on that and thank you bye bye